Donna Bush with your CID TV News Brief on this Thursday. International geodata specialists started a hydrographic survey mapping of local seabed on the three Cayman Islands recently. Now, the Ministry of District Administration and Lands announced the international geodata specialists would carry out the work over a five-day period. The visiting specialists operated an aircraft that flew as low as 1,000 feet above land covering space on Grand Cayman and the two sister islands. His Excellency Governor Martin Roper says he's pleased that as part of the Cayman Islands UK Partnership Agreement on Climate Change and the Environment, the Cayman Islands will benefit from the UK government's overseas territories seabedding. Uh, seabed mapping program. Now, the majority of the available hydrographic map data for the Cayman Islands is now 140 years old. The main purpose of this survey is to map the seabed to identify the topography, hills, valleys, outcroppings, and other details that can be hazardous to shipping and the safety of life at sea. Now, Minister for Lands, the Honorable Juliana O'Connor Connolly, concluded by saying the seabed mapping project further equips the government to formulate plans on how this asset can be developed and used for the betterment of all residents of the Cayman Islands. Well, the Ministry of Education is inviting all eligible Caymanians to submit applications for overseas scholarships for the 2022 to 2023 academic year. The application period started on November 15th and ends on January 31st. We have an online brand new portal system for students or all applicants to access and apply for an overseas scholarship. We also have their persons who are interested in post-grad scholarships for overseas, as well as the new scholarship for the Cayman Scholar, which is um, a new scholarship really targeting students who are high achievers, who are interested in going to universities such as Yale or MIT. Each successful applicant can uh, receive undergraduate scholarships for a maximum of CI $30,000 annually for up to four years. In addition, the top male and female undergraduate applicants who have been accepted into approved Ivy League or gold-tiered university will each receive up to a maximum of CI $100,000 each through the Cayman Scholar Award, as heard earlier. To apply for an MOE Government Overseas Scholarship, you can go online to moescholarships.gov. Dot KY. Well, dozens of residents in Kim and Brack recently took part in a Humane Society fundraiser. It was a rainy day, but organizers say the event went very well with dogs and their owners taking part in the second fundraising event ever held by the organization on the Brack. Those who registered were eligible for prizes donated by great sponsors and local band, husband and wife duo. Uh, Chuck and Barry and CNB Band were on hand to entertain the night before uh, during a registration pre-registration barbecue. Now funds raised for the bike walkathon will go towards Kim and Brack getting their very own veterinary clinic for doggies and cats. Turning now to our Thursday forecast today, partly cloudy to cloudy skies uh, were expected, beginning uh, with a 30% chance of showers being predicted. Temperatures rose to the low 80s. Winds are from the northeast at 15 to 20 knots with higher gusts. Seas will be rough with wave heights of four to six feet, especially along the north and east coast of the islands. Now, small craft operators should continue to exercise caution over open water as some swells are likely along the west coast. The outlook is for moderate winds and seas to continue across our area through to Saturday afternoon. The synopsis calls for fresh northeasterly winds and rough seas, which will continue across the Cayman area through to tonight, with a gradual decrease thereafter as a high pressure system weakens north of the Bahamas. Satellite images show scattered clouds in and around the Cayman area are drifting towards the southwest. And a reminder that you can find the latest unexpected local weather conditions online at weather.gov.ky. And that brings us to the end of today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush. Thank you, thanking you for joining us, wishing you a wonderful and safe night, and inviting you back here again tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye for now.